Yo, what is up guys? This is Pedro here. So we got some good news. Bryce Love has finally returned to practice today and is expected to come off of IR. If he continues to progress, he'll come off of IR soon. I'm going to talk about how that affects the running back room and if we should make some changes at that position. I'll also give you guys some important injury updates on Antonio Gandy Golden and Sadiq Charles. So stay tuned for that if you guys are new subscribe for Washington and NFL content. So let's get right into the video and remember check out House of Hoodies use code Pedro for 15% off your purchase and let me know if you do. They got some insane Sean Taylor, Chase Young, Terry McLaurin hoodies. Okay so we'll first start off with the Bryce Love news, and I made a video on it a couple of days ago, but now it is confirmed, so I'll read it right here. So Bryce Love will begin practicing today per source, and I think he already practiced. This was a few hours ago. Washington has 21 days to determine if it wants to take him off of IR, see what he has, and if he has some of that sizzle he showed long ago at Stanford. So basically, once you practice, you have 21 days before they can put him on IR and or take him off of IR and I don't know what happens after those 21 days if they don't put him um, on IR then he might be done for the season but it's looking good for him but it might be a little bit longer than most times like Steven Sims um, practiced last week and he played this week it might not be the same for Bryce Love but it also could be the same John Kime also said Washington does not need to make a quick call on him um, hard to see a roll right away, so a good way to potentially ease him back in. Uh, there's a way to go. He did not stand out much in camp when we had a chance to see him. Not saying he won't improve, but that's all we saw of you as a bonus, not as a lock to be the guy, that guy again. Um, also, late in August, early, there was hope that maybe with a few more months uh, of work, he would regain more of what he had, and that's what they'll start to see if he has or hasn't. So yeah, basically, you know, a few uh, weeks ago, maybe even a month ago, he his knee started to swell up a little bit more and they put him on IR and he has been on there ever since and he's still on there, but you know, he practiced today. So he's moving into that direction where he could be taken off of IR and then that begs the question, like what is his role going to be? Because even when he was active, those first, you know, two, three weeks of the season, he was not on the active roster on game day. So he did not um, dress and he did not get any carry. So it's going to be interesting to see once he does come off IR, if that changes or maybe he doesn't come off of IR. That's going to be um, pretty interesting to see because, you know, obviously, if you guys don't know, at Stanford, he was an absolute beast, um, you know, freshman year, nothing much, but still 7.8 yards per carry. 225 yards, sophomore year, 783 yards, um, 7 yards per carry. But his junior year, he was the second in Heisman voting, which is insane for a fourth round pick. He had 2,118 yards, 8.1 yards per carry, 19 touchdowns. That's just absolute insane. He was such a beast. And it's unfortunate, you know, the next year wasn't playing behind a good offensive line. Most of his um, offensive linemen from 2017 um, went pro and you know his numbers went down a little bit and you know he also got hurt he played less games and he tore his ACL and really you know he didn't he missed his whole rookie year and then you know he's recovering but he's still not all the way back you know it takes a while a lot of these players you know they might be in football shape after an AC like after a year from an ACL injury but it still takes more and more time for him to be fully fully healthy so hopefully they can at least get him on the field a little bit um this season I think uh Ron Rivera also had a comment and then we'll go on to what his role is going to be so um Ron Rivera talked about um Bryce Love, and he said, you see the quickness is still there. Solid burst, good hands out of the backfield at Stanford, ran up inside and ran outside because of his quickness and speed. It's going to be interesting to watch him develop and grow. Good to have him back on the field, and he's a great, great character guy, really good guy. So hopefully he continues to develop, and hopefully we can see him a little bit, at least get a few carries um, this year. And that, like I said, before we get into the second injury update on, you know, the other guys, that begs the question, you know, when he does get back, what is the point? And I know Peyton Barber, you know, provides that, you know, goal line back and, you know, stuff like that. But I just don't see the need to have Peyton Barber on the roster because Antonio Gibson, I believe, has five touchdowns this year. 
And, you know, a lot of those are goal line touchdowns. A lot of those are one, two, three yard, um, you know, runs into the end zone. He had one against the Cowboys, you know, uh, I think against the Ravens too. I mean, I just don't see the need for Barber. If you look at his stats, I mean, he's averaging 2.1 yards per carry, two touchdowns. And I understand they use him in short yardage situations, but even when they don't, use him in uh, short yardage uh, situations, he still gets like three, four yards. And, you know, um, I just don't see the need for him because one, he's not producing. And two, you know, maybe you could make the case if he was a young guy, you know, someone you want on your team in the future, then that's fine because you're developing him. But um, that's why I see a better fit or, you know, I would much rather see Bryce Love out there than Peyton Barber at least for a few games, get uh, get love a few more carries, get him a, a, at least some because it's going to be another wasted year for Bryce Love if he's not able to get on the football field. If he plays his whole year or is on this roster for this whole year and doesn't get a single snap, that really doesn't help him. The only thing that he's doing is getting back healthy, but I still want to see him get a few carries because Barber personally... I just don't see the use for him. I mean, 38 carries for 81 yards, and um, a lot of those yards came in against Dallas. So, you know, that's just me, though. See what Bryce Love can do because he has that really good potential. And, you know, if he does get back to, you know, anything close to what he was at Stanford, he could be, you know, your bell cow running back, and so could Gibson. But, you know, I think Bryce Love can be a 15, 20 carry back but you know he's got to get healthy and you know we'll see if he can even do that because like John Kimes said he wasn't really flashing in training camp but part of the of that is him not being fully back to himself okay so now on to you know kind of the injury update nothing huge and this is just today so obviously Kyle Allen was in our practice Sadiq Charles Ross Pierce Baker and Antonio Gibson was working off to the side but here's what I know with Sadiq so he was put on IR right after that Giants game but on IR you have to miss three games it's not three weeks so you know he's not gonna he wasn't able to come back this week against the Lions it's three games so yes he has, he has games and I believe so he missed the Cowboys game the second Giants game and then this Lions game so Sadiq Charles will be eligible to return um, week 11, I think, against the the Bengals. So that's when he's going to be back. We don't have any injury necessarily updates about him just because, you know, he just hasn't been practicing with that dislocated knee. But hopefully, the hope is he can come back against the Bengals. And that would be really good news. And uh, Antonio uh, Gandy-Golden, his injury, I heard, was more severe with that, you know, um, hamstring injury. So I think he's going to be out for a long, not a long time, but longer than Sadiq. Hopefully he can be back um, before the end of the season. Um, so yeah, let me know what you guys think about Bryce Love versus versus Peyton Barber. If you think it's even worth it to have Barber on this roster. So, so thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please smash that like button. Subscribe if you guys are new and turn on those post notifications so you never miss a video. Peace.